I liked to golf. I actually was on the golf course. I swung the club. I felt a twinge. I couldn't finish the last two or three holes because my knee bothered me so much. As I tell my patients, I do smart knees and dumb knees. Which one do you want? This little thing here is the smart implant on the antenna. What that allows them to do is look at their number of steps, distance, cadence, stride length, range of motion, and so forth. It's allowing them to get their data whenever they want. Now then, when they come into the office, I can compare them with the Canary website, which is a different website that I have access to that compares them to all the other patients across the country. You can't be tracked by this device. It's not Bluetooth, it's not Wi-Fi, it's radio frequency waves that go from the Smart IQ stem to the little black box that goes usually under patients' beds that downloads the data every night. I think right now the most common struggle that we have or what we're, the challenge we're dealing with is ransomware. How fast is the technology evolving? It evolves extremely fast. Our goal is to get ahead of these cyber threats so that we're not constantly reacting and then trying to build up or protect devices after the fact. So I think the one thing that we would want uh, your viewers to know and you to know is that uh, in many cases, the FDA is able to examine these devices for uh, reasonable assurance of cybersecurity before they can ever touch a patient. We think about heart disease and how much of an impact it has, number one killer of men and women in our society, and things are getting better with technology and implants, is that correct? It's exciting day to be in cardiothoracic surgery. That's, uh, things are always getting better. Total artificial hearts is a real thing, and again, there's, there's always a new device being worked on. The new humans will be developed in three different ways, uh, changing a genome of our offspring or cyborgs where biological beings are married with mechanical parts and computers and chips and, uh, and pieces that, that is uh, some, some, some dark, dark magic <laughs> with uh, people smarter than I are developing. I will start feeling obsolete when those technologies come around, but that's not going to happen. I will not be obsolete in my lifetime. For me, it's it's lifesaver. Not running, but uh, <laughs> but I'm able to walk. No complaints whatsoever. This buddy of mine told me, he says, after you have it done, you're going to wonder why you waited so long to do it. And he was right. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.